What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com here back again with another video and in this video I'm going to give you the real answer to the question which email automation software you should use for affiliate marketing okay so this is a question that I get over and over again I see this question in uh, groups that I'm in all the time and I'm going to give you the email automation software that I use for all my campaigns um, but before I do that definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel um, and if you have any comments while we're uh, going over it, definitely leave those down below so I can interact with you guys. I love talking to uh, the people who watch my videos, so definitely leave a comment down below. So, which email software should you use if you want to do affiliate marketing? So there's all different types of email automation softwares out there, um, like GetResponse, uh, MailChimp, which I can't stand. <laughs> um, there's other things like you can use uh, ClickFunnels and Action Analytics, or you can use something like uh, what I use, and it's Active Campaign. So, Active Campaign is the email automation software that uh, I use, and it's for a number of reasons. Now, before I actually talk about why I like to use it, uh, let's just get one thing straight. You can, C A N, use Active Campaign for affiliate marketing. Now, this is a question that a lot of people say, I heard you can't use. Uh, Active campaign for affiliate marketing. That's not true. So what you want to make sure that you are doing once you sign up for an account is you kind of just want to prep the account. You want to just make sure that you are not spamming contacts with hundreds of emails that have a whole bunch of affiliate links and you're just going against what Active Campaign wants. Active Campaign wants people who are going to send out emails that have information that are going to help the, the end user or the end consumer and they don't mind having affiliate links. So as long as you uh, go in it giving information, sending out emails that are not spammy, sending out emails that are you know going to help the in person give them a result of some kind, whether it's a course, whether it is uh, just some you know basic information like a like a introduction introductory email to whatever service or, or, or program that you may be promoting, etc. You can include affiliate links but you just want to make sure that you, once you get your account running up um, and if you don't have an active campaign account you can click the link down below to actually get one test it out see if it's for you um, but just make sure that you are not being a spammer you are not being someone that active campaign can pick up on and say uh, we don't want this person using our software for what they're doing because they're spamming and they're not actually giving information which is rightfully so we're in a day and age where most people are they're they're smart okay they're smart consumers so if you're just going to be spamming a they're not going to open up your emails and two they're not going to click on the links which in turn actually affects active campaign okay so active campaign has a smtp and as more and more people click and more and more people open emails that smtp has a rating a positive rating but if people don't open up emails if people are not clicking links if people are getting spam complaints and all that stuff right their their smtp rating active campaign smt rating will go down okay that's a little bit technical but that's essentially how it works so just make sure that when you, if you're using uh, active campaign for affiliate marketing that you have informational emails that are going to help the end consumer and you're not being a spammer okay now that i got that out of the uh out of the air right just i want you guys to know that um active campaign is absolutely amazing and the number one reason why i like it is because of the ui so on your screen here you can see um my active campaign accounts my personal account so this is essentially what it looks like and once you start getting contacts uh, you can set up your dashboard a certain way to show your contacts. So we're right here of 3,325. Um, and then on the right-hand side, you can see my, the, the recent activity. So 17 minutes ago, someone unsubscribed. Um, and then, you know, one person subscribed, unsubscribe, click through, subscribe, reply to campaign. Um, so you get the gist. It just tells you what people are doing with your campaigns. Now, this here where it says one subscribed, one unsubscribed, I actually have automations where... I'm taking someone off one list and putting them on another list depending on if they do an action or don't do an action, okay? So that's why you see like unsubscribe, subscribe, unsubscribe, subscribe, subscribe, unsubscribe. It's me doing automation. So essentially, I like Active Campaign for the UI, but I also really like Active Campaign for the automation aspect of it. There's no easier way to set up and, uh, automations and the type of automations that you can set up are pretty advanced and you can really get a good segmentation going when it comes to your audience um, so it's it's actually really simple to set up I actually have a video on um, using active campaign and how to set up automations without confusions 
but I'll, I'll, I'll quickly run through it with you. So if you go to automations on the left hand side, um, you'll see all, all my different automations and I'll just take you through my non-purchasers uh, automation really quickly. Um, so you can, this is just a, a quick one. So essentially, I like to use tags, but I also uh, like to start my automations based off when someone enters a list, right? But you can start um, automations different ways. So for example, you can start uh, based off of if someone opens a specific email, if someone clicks a link in an email, which is really powerful. So like if they click on your, uh, you know, your last minute, you know, 24 hour closing cart thing, right? They click on that link, but they don't purchase. You can then say, okay, I want to I want to subscribe them to another list. Start that automation for people who click that link, and I want to give them a coupon code, right? Because they click the link that showed interest. Therefore, that they can you know get the coupon code and use that coupon code um, to purchase your product or purchase whatever you're selling, right? So there's different ways that you can start triggers. I like tags, and when someone subscribes to a list, so this is essentially how the automation will look. Let me just zoom out here because it is a pretty big automation. Um, and they, they, they use what, what I think what they call, uh, I don't know if this is the right terminology. I don't know. I can't uh, think about it right now. Um, but basically like tree branches. So like if you think about it, when someone uh, comes into this automation, I have a timer here that says wait for 30 minutes. So as soon as they subscribe to this list, wait 30 minutes. And then I ask a question, which is an if else statement in active campaign. And this is confusing. Um, I, I have a video, like I said, I'm just quickly going through this, but this is the type of stuff that you can do. It's really powerful. So the if else statement is saying, okay, check if this person is on this speci uh, specific list or check if this person is, um, I don't know, like did some type of action, right? Either on a list, did some type of action, visited a page, whatever the case may be, check if that person did that. If they did that, then what we want them to do is, um, I have to scroll over. So. If they did that particular thing, which in this case is purchase my product, then unsubscribe them from this non-purchasers automation and end this automation so they won't receive any other emails, right? But if they don't uh, actually purchase my product, then I continue on the email sequences and I, you know, this process just keeps going, just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going until they actually do what I want them to do. Now, this is the type of stuff you can do. You can do a lot of different things. So like, for example, if someone um, purchases your, your product, you can set up a goal. And once they actually purchase the product, it will end the goal. And then you can kind of track uh, your, your goal through rate, right? Like to see how many people are actually completing that particular goal. Um, so you can do goals with, you know, uh, clicks, right? Like you can see if someone is clicking the link, if they click that link, complete that goal. Um, and it's really simple. All you have to do is just click on this plus icon. Let me zoom in really quickly. Um, and you can just start adding things to the, the tree branches, right? You can just quickly add things. So you can send emails, you can send SMS, notify someone, um, which I like to do. I like to kind of send myself a message like, hey, this person did this. So you might want to check in on them or, you know, this person did uh, purchased or this person didn't purchase, right? You, you can send yourself a note. Um, so then, you know, you kind of get some more information about that and you can send that note to whatever email address you desire. Um, so if you go to conditions and workflow, this is where like most of the things that I use, which is like wait statements, if else statements, wait statements, essentially saying wait a day, right? Before you send the next email, wait 30 minutes, wait five minutes, right? Um, and I'll post the links down below to my active campaign, my past active campaign videos. This is just a quick overview um, on why I love to love active campaign for the things that I do. Um, and the things that I do are affiliate marketing. I do uh, my info products where I sell courses and I sell informational things to people. But I also have some uh, affiliate uh, courses as well that are free, right? Free products that I kind of help people with. So active campaign is great if you are someone that's into marketing, if you're someone that's in e-commerce, anything like that, um, you'll be able to use this for your particular niche or your, your particular business and really use automations to kill it, okay? Um, and great thing about this is the it has a Zapier connection. So if you have a program that doesn't uh, use active campaign or integrate with active campaign, you can use Zapier. Um, but they also have an API connection. So for example, on ClickFunnels, I will connect my active campaign to my ClickFunnels account and I can just quickly set that up. Therefore, when people opt in, I, they get into my active campaign, um, automation. So this is really, really cool. This is cool stuff. Mainly two things I use wait and if else statements, but like I said, you can do different things like go to another action. If they, they do something that you, you designate, 
uh, like I said, goals, start in, and then contacts. So you can say, you know, subscribe to another list, unsubscribe them from a, a particular list. You can add tags to people, which I love doing. I like I, the more information, the better. Uh, and you can also do um, adding notes. So I like to add notes. So for particular things, I'll add a note. For example, right here, I add a note to send out a text message if that person entered their e uh, their phone number on my order form, right? So if they put their uh, phone number on my order form and I have it inside of my active campaign account, once it passes through the API connection, um, then it'll send them a text via my Zapier uh, setup that I have. So it's this is the type of things you can do. You can just do a lot of different things and that's why I like it. The functionality, it just makes sense to me. Um, and I highly, highly recommend that you, if you're into affiliate marketing, if you're into digital marketing, that you try out ActiveCampaign. Um, I honestly have been using them since, since I first started uh, digital marketing actually. And I haven't had one issue when it came to compliance. I've ha I haven't had any type of hiccup when it came to my emails not sending or my emails defaulting or anything like that. I never had an issue. Um, it's really reliable. I feel really safe when using Active Campaign. When I set up my automations and sending those automations out, I feel really safe that those automations are, or, or those emails are going to get to the person and I don't have to worry about it. Um, another cool thing is they have a really detailed reporting uh, dashboard where it'll give you a lot of different information for particular campaigns that you send out or particular automation reports. So, for example, if I, let's say, uh, let's just say the affiliate kickstart training. So you can see that this particular automation has passed 1,287 people and I interacted with 56% of them. So interacted meaning I uh, they opened up my email, they clicked the link, they did something in those particular emails, which is awesome, right? So if I wanna go into this automation, it will even give me even more information to see, um, if I scroll down at the bottom, how many people finished this email automation, 100% uh, of those emails were sent out, the open rate, which is a 56% overall open rate and a 17% overall click-through rate, all right? So as you can see, this is really, really uh, good information that we can uh, use to actually, um, you know, fix our emails. So like there's a few emails in here that I can I can see right now that I probably need to fix, right? Because the, the click-through rate is really low um, and the email might be poor, right? The, 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 the stuff that's in that email is not actually getting clicks, right? So honestly, I haven't checked this particular automation. I just kind of put it up and let it run. And you know, this is, this is YouTube uh, traffic essentially. So people from YouTube, who are who want to learn more about uh, affiliate marketing? This is you know this is the automation sequence that they go through. Um, but like I said, now that now that I have this information, I can later down the line go and fix the things that need to be fixed. Okay, so based on the things that are available to you as a marketer or available to you as someone that wants to get into email marketing, I highly recommend Active Campaign. <clears throat> All you have to do is click the link down below to get your free trial. Um, and you know, make make the decision if it's something for you. I think you're gonna love it. But if you have any questions, leave those down below, and I can kind of get back to you on those and kind of help you through it if you get stuck or you're kind of uh, thinking that maybe this is not for you. Maybe it's a little too advanced. Leave those comments down below so I can kind of help you walk you through the process and how to set everything up. But I'll also post my links down uh, below for the past videos on active campaigns. So you guys can go check that out as well. I'm really, really stoked that you guys have been following me. I'm really happy that you guys, you know, add me on Facebook and interact with me on different platforms. So definitely do that. I highly recommend and encourage it. Um, if you have any comments, like I said, leave them down below. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit that alert button, like this video. If you like this type of content, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video.